Welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. In this episode, we'll have a last run at Endless Mode, as there are two things I want to try showing off. The first is the Iron Hunger Fate. Iron Hunger, although I showed it off in a bonus video, is unusual in that it's the only fate that adds an extra resource to the game. So I thought it would be nice to show off a little bit more about how it interacts. Iron Hunger is a little bit weird, because sometimes you get really lucky at the beginning and you can go for quite a while, or you get very unlucky and immediately get hungry. The other thing I want to try to show off is a bunch of the items that I may have seen in bonus videos but couldn't show off on video, and also some items that may still remain to be seen at all. There are very few of them left, but there are still a couple. So with that, let's go. We can hope that, as each card is unveiled, as each new concept is explored, that we learn something about ourselves. Let's see, Armor of Cold, we know, we've worn it. It is light armor, and I might get better armor later. But its cold effect could be useful. So let's smelt the old one. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Sorry, Bard. No money for you today. Oof. The white minotaur already. I don't necessarily want to fight the white minotaur, but he does offer equipment. Now here we have an interesting choice. The mace could in fact fetch us uh, probably quite a few iron ore. But it's also a little bit of damage upgrade. And then we also have the issue that if we sell it, um, we might get better equipment later. But I haven't shown it off too much, so I think I'm going to keep it and uh, get rid of the blade for now. I don't care for the Collector, though. Also, I hate fighting the White Minotaur, but I'm glad I did it early. A choice. Select your desire.
I'm sure you are grateful for that. Discard or put on top. These aren't that great. Okay, I'm glad I skipped that card. The Elder Lizard is not really great unless I have the ore for it. And it's a bit of a mixed blessing in the Iron Hunger Fate. Collector, I changed my mind. I'm actually going to visit the Collector. Because using this weapon in the fight made me realize I really don't like slow weapons. Maybe not the best decision. But I'm going to use the gold instead. Ha! Huh. I say that I created this game. Many of the things I've told you are true, but not that. I do not know who created You want my armor. I merely perfected. Uh not the best of trades since my next armor might not give me any uh, iron ore but we are going up to a shop i'll just have to live with light armor and we do have over 200 gold Nicely in the Iron uh, Iron Hunger Fate, I didn't notice that sometimes the fo gaining a food gain card actually gives you equipment. And Mithril will replace our armor nicely. Yeah, we're back to the default light armor. I don't think smelting this one will give us anything. Oh, it will. Default does, does work. Um, I actually wanted to go to the shop, thank you very much. We'll do it after these ratmen. There, that's better. Finally, an opportunity to eat. Food will be useless. Healing wounds will be far from useless in case we're going to starve for a while. Well, let's take a look at what we have. Forbidden armor is not great for us since we want to be able to heal. The dragon helm could start the chain of getting the dragon relics, and innocence is useful. Golden mask could also be useful, but I like the dragon helm. It might take away uh, that effect of uh, getting equipment, though. This wasn't very, very well documented when I went to research it. But we want the dragon helm. I think this is what we're gonna do. Interesting choice. Innocence is absolutely what we want. Are you sure that's the right approach? 
And now we can just buy these for food. Hard to believe, but it is actually possible to be too well armored. What will you do with that? Yeah, 11 iron ore is just about the best that we can get, except for one item, which gives 12. We'll also buy this and get four. That's the name of the game. Um, what be, What is our food becomes more expensive in shops, and we need to make sure that we have equipment. I still need a better weapon ever since I sold the uh, Minotaur Mace, though. Quick equipment check. Yeah, no real good weapon. Mithril is good. Dragon Helm is good. Still only one blessing in the sense of the shield. Killing Streak Ring, which I didn't really show off, but it's automatic progression. Stackable speed and uh, damage bonus. Top revealed. And encounter cards revealed. Ah, good. I like the Lizard Dome earlier rather than later. Three game cards, lovely. Do we want these on top? Actually, yes, I do. Master Ring will be very nice. A little extra health, but it is only a momentary respite. And map card is a little late. Whatever. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. We're doing quite well. 17 iron ore does not seem like a lot, and it can go pretty fast, but not bad. Games aren't designed. A uh, hello there, Nomad's Desert. They grow as This will be good. Them. They evolve around the players who flow through. The things they love. So, do you remember the solution? About firmament. South. So who is the East? Creator? East. And will this use food? No, they actually coded it correctly. It uses iron ore. But the pain cards make us lose food. Ah, gold. Okay. It's worth it early on. Because now, I'm going to double back here. And go to the jeweler. Let's take a look. Berserker Ring, 
uh, gives us health. That could be useful. Ring of Peace could be useful. We've had it before. I don't know how many blessings we'll have, though. A new ring, the Ring of Wizardry, giving us health for artifact uses. And the Bashing Ring. These are not necessarily any the best, but the Berserker Ring could be good. You think that will help you? Ring of Peace is not nothing either. The Bashing Ring, I'm not entirely convinced, but if we're going to get the Master Ring, we might as well buy as many rings as we want. And now something I wouldn't normally do, but I think it's try to be a real asshole. We'll take the hero's belongings. We'll actually take the Viking blade. Bye bye, innocence. It was worth showing you off. As pleases you. And we will lose Max Health. things become unfortunate curse that I want to try to get rid of Death. we use the word so often you run out of food and you die you lose your health and you die yet ah uh, not enough food for this we do not speak of the true death the all right oblivion. we've lost 50% health game where your peace begins again and moves. Ghost of the Sea could have been useful. It could have given us some kind of gain. But none of these, aside from maybe Blacksmith's gratitude, must be lost. would have been worth it. And lost for all time. The Black Deck delivers again. Ah, Devil's Wager. Hello again. Skulls and dust. Our max health doesn't matter. We're probably going to lose some gold overall. But now I get to show off the weapons. Not bad. The Viking Rage seems like it does more damage. And our Shield Bash does damage, which is very useful. Better as we go up in combo tiers and the enemies fall. All in all, a very nice weapon. We are losing gold from getting healed, but it's not the end of the world. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Underworld Totem is back from the DLC. If I do not place a ring in the totem, we will have more underworld creatures spawning on the map. Battle at Brooktop is good to get some gain cards out of the way.
perfect. Master Ring is kind of what I wanted. I didn't get to show off Eye of the Storm. You can summon Swirling Vortex centered on you, but I tried it. It's not as effective as other artifacts for me, even though it has nine uses. Mage's Mask could be nice, but I'm betting on the Dragon Artifact in the long run. Another curse. More than anything, I am Dealer spite is bad. I want the priest Do you soon. The wheel turns again and returns us to the world in order to experience afresh all that has happened. Ah, welcome back to Captain Buccanera, back from the Warlord okay, Fate. Still to this. I can get food, gold, or information from him. And will not go willingly through the And information is what I want. There is nothing on this map that I want, except for the mage. So I'm going to... Uh, I don't want to lose equipment either. Fasting does have a way of focusing the mind. I'm going to see if I can get something uh, from the mage. If I keep enough gold. Let's see what the mage has to offer us. A chance to buy more food. You must be relieved. All right, nothing great in the artifacts. The dragon ring could be good. Plunder's cap is helpful, but it also... What will you do with gives that? us decent ore. And I do want the Dragon Ring, so is there something I can sell extra? Nope. I have, in fact, got everything I want. So the Dragon Ring will have to wait. But at least I have food right now. Mr. Lionel could therefore be more useful right now. But Goblin Rewards are fickle. A voyage across the ocean, or merely a trip down the river. Ouch. Could go either way here. We just have to hope for the best.
Uh, we can't get rid of the Devil's Carnival. But we can at least try to have a good result. Or maybe not. Yeah, the Viking Blade is actually very nice. High damage, makes you attack faster, and pain comes with it is fantastic. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Oh, it's the helpful priest. Excellent. I've been keeping the food for this. We're a little bit further down in the dungeon, unfortunately. But I still managed to get a huge success. Unfortunately, Dealer Spite is going to be very bad for us. The gods look upon you favorably. Very unfortunate encounter.
Fortunately, my ring is healing me with fights. The deeper you go, but the low max the health is absolutely awful. Ah, that is one of my favorites. It takes a very special person to walk through this door. You need to have lived a life that provides enough meat for our deck. Wheel of the Gods, turn, turn, turn. Give us the items that we should earn. Left to persist. I don't want to show this off, but I think it's worth showing it off a little bit. Choose from the How lucky are we? Somewhat lucky. Actually very lucky. Two of the dragons set. But not what I need. And since I have something that heals me in combat, I have no choice here. We'll see how far we can go. Not awful. The ring gave us health in combat. We got max health back. River I didn't need, although I'm wearing Mithril. Ratman hunting. And eh, moderate leaves full sunken treasure is kind of a half and half chance of getting anything. Only patronage though. I want to check something quick. An expedition. Press on. How many blessings do I have? Will of the Gods, Toxic Blood, Lizard Eater. I might be eligible for a blessing from Holy Patronage. What an ignominious way to go. I do hope you find something to eat soon. We will first see if we can feed ourselves. Finally, an opportunity to eat. Ah, uh, yes we do. All right.
Bye bye, Plunder's Cap. Plunder's Cap is nice for us, but I'm going all dragon right now. You think that will help you? And alchemical silver. No, I actually... I do need to keep some of my gold for holy patronage. I have far less respect for your decisions to come here, given the places you've been on your way. Oh, shush, dealer. Holy patronage can go up in price, but as long as I have uh, fewer than four blessings, so three max, I can get an extra blessing. I don't think I need the cooldown reduction, but I do hate ranged attackers. Both are fine, really. I just want the blessings. Work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. And now we have more iron ore. We just want more max health. I worked long and hard to make that particularly painful. Ingenious. Don't Trading post is actually beautiful. Since we never need food, we could get helmet, shield, or armor. Shield is more like what we want. We've tried pain. Pain is nice, and I like, I like doing damage. But being able to kill regular skeletons could come in handy. Just gonna check something quick here. Skeleton King Shield. I think I am actually going to keep pain. It is marginally better because it can kill skeletons, but will kill them quickly. And the court's not affected by the Skeleton King Shield. Because. Really? Is that what. Five Iron Ore is not bad. Crucible could be tough, but in this circumstance, I want whatever gain I can get. Gold could be useful down the line. Of course, the Skeleton King shield would have been great. But I'll still take Skulls over Plague.
A bit deadly. Sadly, not much, but at least we got gold for completing the encounter. We will never complete Test of Pride with these curses and this low health. But we can do battle practice. Ah, but we don't have the Lich yet. Skeletons it is. Yeah, I briefly glossed over it, sure but you agree. battle practice is kind of interesting in endless mode. Um, and actually, I guess in other dungeons as well, you can only use it to fight against enemies you've encountered and unlocked. And we haven't unlocked or seen the Lich yet in endless mode, at least not on level 9. Oh, I don't like these. No one likes them. I have the feeling the master ring went away. One cannot hope to find it. I'll double check in a second. Delving now. I have made my wager. I'll also. Make no, master ring is still here. You have questions, and I will provide. Answers. I'm not sure which one went, but. That is uh, why you came here, is it not? Ah, an encounter we haven't seen in person. This is probably the Alchemist. The one card that I never actually visited yet. Yeah, Lava Golem innards. I don't have 50 ore though. 50 ore would be nice, but then I wouldn't make a potion. The maiden can't bless me, but she can give me longer life. And let's take a look at what the mage has. I had to do a quick cut. You might have seen the mouse jump. Um, I had to pause the video for a moment. Okay. What have we got? Ernie's antlers are really appearing. Thor the Hags wraps. The dragon ring is there again. 
I think it's time to buy it. Interesting choice. Are you sure that's the right approach? What will you do with that? I think it's also time for... An artifact? No, I have curses. And I might meet a healer or a priest. Ah, the lovers. Maybe they'll give me some rings. Thought I had that. Maybe that's what got lost at random. You know what? Sure. A choice. Select your desire. You know, I didn't quite appreciate how much the uh, cooldown from the Viking Blade is affected by Dragon Claws. I can just keep hitting and hitting. In fact, we have enough gold. I want to take a look again. Again with the plunders cap. A nice seven gold though. Sorry, seven iron ore. And it might be time to get one of these. Attacking faster or throwing knives, you know. You think there. That, will help you. that way at least we do have an artifact in our inventory. I don't necessarily want to use it, but at least future artifacts can be turned into iron ore. It's a surprise portal. Now oh, I'm summoned.
More health to work with. Much good meat do you. Hello there, Kraken. My old friend. sure you are grateful for that mortal whimsy I tried once realized it wasn't great randomly changing to another weapon can be great or can be horrible fortunately I like the Viking blade and the mortal whimsy I believe gives quite a lot of iron ore ten Now I have a choice. I admittedly would love to have the Kraken's Wrath mask and the sword together. It's a nice combination. But I still think I'm going for all dragon. So let's try melting this. As pleases you. For nine. Do not want cursed treasure. Do not want treasure trove because I don't want to get rid of my equipment. That would be suicide. Deeper towards our foe. I hope that is the curse that ends your quest. 35 iron ore is a very good position to be in. Local peasant is a great example of why food is an easy come, easy go commodity in iron hunger. I want equipment. 
that I can smelt. Mace is not really worth it, though. But this is the prize. Oh, I didn't want the river. I don't want a winding trail either. Cool. We're set. We're going down. Might be time to replace our weapon, but we're at level 11 of the dungeon. So it's a little hard. I might get pain cards. I will leave it. I will, however, take my uh, chances with the Guildmaster, just because... He's a dick. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. I appreciate your ingenuity. I look forward to seeing how you approach this particular challenge. Ooh, this is a big-ish map. I want to get to the Tinker. And I also want to loan 20 gold. Because that's that nothing. Too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Uh, Holy Forge is one of the cases where I could pay 75 iron ore, the equivalent of the metal ore card. But I don't have 75 iron ore, and that's a steep price to pay for a hammer weapon I don't necessarily like. Uh, well, I want to cross the river. I want blessings, but not that badly. Okay, great. Soldier's training would have been a little bit tedious. Oracle is not very useful. Ember Town Hero. Oh, well, I do want to get to the Tinker, though. Just in case. But I think I might have to cut my losses. No, we'll try the hero. I'm worried because I currently have an artifact and the hero is going to want to take it. Of course he curses me. I am sorry. Okay, cannot sell anything is not a problem for me. Let's see what we got. Ring of experience. Starts off small, but uh, health after every successful combat will be useful. Ooh, Fate's Folly could have been nice. Do I want more gold? Maybe. Thirty-two gold. I don't think I'm gonna get it back per se, but at least I get some iron ore. Interesting choice. Alchemical silver gives six iron ore. That's not too bad for uh, 
um, artifacts. Artifacts usually don't yield too much for iron ore. Oh well, that wasn't much. I'll take a look at the tinker one last time. The shop has probably refreshed itself. Nice. I don't care for heavy armor. I don't care for frost fang. Uh, and I have the dragon helm still. I don't need any of these. I think I'll be good with 25 iron ore. We are not going to try the treasury. Seriously. I cannot afford to lose 66% of my max health right now. What do you got, dealer? Another curse on the table. Let us see how you deal with it. As long as you play and persist, we will continue to draw closer to a resolution. Ah, nice. Metal ore. I wanted to show this off. Mind you. And Encountering the metal ore spread. gives us a nice little 75 bonus. This point, it's a matter of staying alive. You're not guaranteed to, of course. But uh, this means I have a couple levels worth of ore for sure. And I still have equipment. But right now I can afford to do other things, like get this occult ring to inflict more damage for every curse. And this ring of poverty. Which I can't sell right now. What will you do with that? But it will still stack with other rings I have. See? 14 gold per encounter is not nothing. Holy quest, which we will remember is from the Monk Fate's rewards, could give me the Skeleton King's sword if I get a good result. You know what? Let's try it. I'll get a pain card on huge success, but you know what? I think it's worth a shot. Or I could have this happen. Ooh, 50% gold loss. Not worth it. Maybe, just maybe, I'll find more dragon armor. And there we go. Dragon armor is here, everybody. I don't need Mithril anymore. But I also have these rings, and I love rings. You think that will help you? Just to show it off. The number of rings I have right now is, um... Obscene. Thirteen. And it can get even higher. Lava Golem? Nope. The others.
Nope, I still want the Dragon Helm. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Okay, my damage output is bordering on, on obscene. I don't need any of those cards. Excellent. All sorts of terrible things live in caves. Are you sure? Oof. That's as long low. As you play and persist. We will continue to draw closer to a resolution. Very few have come. Nope. Close to I don't want to give any helmet away. I can only have one. And none have succeeded. Were you hoping this was the end? No. Marketplace might be good. Oh, but I'm gonna have to keep passing by soldiers on leave, because I am cursed. So the old graveyard will do nothing for me. Okay, they're buying food. Excellent. I don't need food. And I do want to try to get some gold. Oh well. Not this time. But I still get 14 gold out of completing the encounter. I'm sure they'll simply fall back into the same ways, given time. Nasty. Ah, uh, toxic blood. But we have the dragon armor, so it's not too bad. I can take it. 42 health is not a good situation. We're pretty low. So I absolutely want to be careful here. And of course I probably ran right, pat right past the treasure chest. But the extra health per encounter is still good. I just want more blessings to activate it. No point in messing with the casket. Soul gem is fantastic. Now we want to remove a random curse. Maximum health is... Um... Ah, Deadly Ratman. Maximum health is nice, but... Chance at removing a dealer curse is good. Equipment as collateral. Absolutely, I will do this. I don't want the gold so much as the equipment. Watching your attempt to wriggle away from bad luck. Husband, King, Jack. Nah, we can take him. And treat it as combat, maybe?
Yeah, we're good. Let's look at the ring of gluttony again. 50% more healing from consuming food. We can see if that works with iron ore. And either way, it's one more ring for the pile. Now let's hand over the gold. See what equipment we have. Okay. Sure. I'll take Inferno Potion, just because of the dragon stuff. I'll smelt Mercenary Contract for seven. Pretty good. And maybe I'll get Soul Gem again. That would be nice. Okay. I will definitely do Soul Gems. And caverns. One cannot hope to find adventure without a little delving now. Oh, and it was Secret Society. Cool. So every time you get the Soul Gem, the food requirement increases. You'll probably only see this in Endless Mode. What are we going to get rid of? Deadly Bandits. Still not what I wanted, but hey, it's something. All sorts of terrible things live in caves. Are you sure? We're doing somewhat okay still. There we go. To play the game. Call for the priest. I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent.
I wanted to sneak up and kill them, but that fight nearly got me. I'm healing a lot of health here and losing gold, but I absolutely want to be alive for Call for the Priest. We've earned this priest. Dealer spite goes away. Loose pockets goes away. I could get rid of some of these, but they're not a huge problem. Corrupt Healers goes away. Tainted goes away. Don't care too much about these. They're a matter of course. Now let's buy some of these again. Critical Strike. Very nice. Will of the Gods. Arcane Knowledge. All of them will stack with uh, one of my rings. I could remove the other curses, but you know what? I don't want to build up that much gold. And sure. Choose from these options. It's a mimic. Goodbye, mimic. Back at trading post. Let's see. Um, I've got the armor. I've got the helmet. I think the shield is what I'm after. No. Move speed is still useful. And I could just do straight up damage here. Enormous shield is not quite what I'm after. But it does give seven iron ore. Fortunate, I didn't want to deal with Dark Dweller. None of these are particularly good. Maybe Cave Rescue. Sail away and see what you will find. You know what? Cave Rescue. The fight will give me some health. And I can take these.
Yeah, now we're gaining health. And in fact... Nothing more pleasing than the smell of doubling back and a rush of wind to the priest. One forty eight gold can get some really nice blessings. I don't care about Hedman's blessing. Holy touch, I could get back. This could be good. I don't have any official word that high constitution interacts with iron ore rather than food. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. But I do want to stack blessings right now. In case I lose one and to get effect. A voyage across the ocean or merely a trip down the river. Yeah, see? Lose one blessing. Retribution. I can live with that. Expect me to tell your fortune. No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. I am literally killing Ratman by walking around. Tinker, I don't yet have enough gold to care about too much. Oh, but it won't matter. We're back to Field of Poppies. None of these are particularly bad. So I'll just get to deal with them as best I can. The White Minotaur was not a lot of fun. We're gonna leave.
I'm sure you are grateful for that. Well, we're going back up there now. They're buying food. Well, we'll try again. A choice. Select your desire. Nothing, but you know what? That's fine. You'll need more food, I think. I do not want to sell my soul to the secret society. No matter how much fun it sounds. And I think I don't have enough curses anymore. But I do believe I have holy touch. Excellent. What do I want the most? Sure, lava golems. Cleaver. Sounds like it could be good. And you know what? We've had the Viking Blade a while. Killing Ratmen more efficiently. Sounds nice. Time to change equipment. Are you sure that's the right approach? If you gain health, then I work harder to take it. It's true, dealer. But finally, taking the... Um, Hero of Equipment has paid off. It's better than trudging along a muddy... In fact, you know what? 257 gold. Now it's time to look at the Tinker again. Let's see how many rings we can load up with. Sadly, our damage isn't nearly as it's seen yet again. What do you got for me? The Kraken Claw and Scorching Zeal. Great power often comes at great cost. If I know anything, I know that. Detonator, I don't think I'm going to use. But you know what? Let's get it in case I can show it off. Interesting choice. Finally, the Kraken Claw is not the Rat Cleaver, but causing damage around the target could be nice. So for now, we'll take the Kraken Claw. And Scorching Zeal, you know what? 
Sure. Fire was never meant to be so controlled and so channeled. I want the iron ore. There is an achievement for getting 300 iron ore, and even though I doubt I'll get there... I'm not gonna say no. Also, 42 health just for walking I'm sure one, one in time. step. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Deadly bones I can deal with. At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? The acquiring of power. The retaining no. of power. I'm gonna show what happens and when you most leave. Importantly, the use of power. Hell beast thrown the land. Allies turning against you, I haven't really seen. How about that? I could actually trade with the Elder Lizard here. I'm gonna show it off. An expedition. Press on. Oh, max health pain? Boo. How unpleasant. Hate the bard. Now, this is the same result as if we had 75 iron ore from the middle ore. We will give it to her. Ore gain could be good. Hey, look, the Iron Hunger Helm is back. I want to see if the Shadow Agent Helm um, has anything here. How much iron ore is this worth? Five. I'm sure you are grateful for that. These were sadly not very good gains, but you kind of got a feel for how the Elder Lizard works. I will fight to bring my health back. Unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Heroes remains I stepped on just today. I'm making an excuse. Since I already have pain. And since we keep going by the underworld totem. I'll just wait until we come across a new totem. Maybe I'll give a ring then. Through the woods and see what lies beyond.
cursed luck. The deeper you go, the harder. I don't like this one, but neither is it the end of the world in all situations. Do you understand what it is we do now, or did I rush you through the rules, pushing you into the play before you were prepared? But I will not try the royal treasury with cursed luck. A one in four chance of gaining some stuff. But I could lose 66% of health. Uh, and if I had, shoot. I got rid of my ore with the elder lizard. But sure. Let's help. Oh, this could be pretty bad, actually. Huh. The equipment are the part I'm most annoyed about. I have everything except I'm missing two rings. I think one of them was one I actually wanted. But I can't do anything about that. Between worlds. A thing I can no longer see behind me. Yet is. With any luck, we'll be able to gate some again. Didn't I already have the dragon ring? I must have lost it. What will you do with that? So careless with your resources. As pleases you. You think that will help you? Just a little food stop. And because I want to go at it again, we'll have a look here. Nope. Still don't care for this. So let's try my luck with rings. These really appear a lot. Fortunately, it is a nice amount of food. Interesting choice. Barely enough left to feed a mouse. At this rate, you may end up as food for them. I probably want a tinker. Step through, if you dare. The black deck delivers again. A healer. Okay. Cool. I'm going to stop this. We are at level 20. And I will continue it in the next video. See you later.